Yes, this is the 21st of March, 2024. We're at Vincent Corp. Uh, this is in Tampa, Florida. We're going to run. This is what the screw looks like here. You'll see interruptions in the flight. So we have stages of compression, first, second, third, fourth stage of compression. Uh, we were running something that had plastic in it earlier today. We got that out of there. And here's the screen we're going to put in. And over here, this is the material we're going to run. Um, it's uh, dubious if it'll work. There does seem to be some fiber there, but probably not enough. But uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, we got the press together. Screw's going 7.5 RPM. Uh, let's put it in and see what happens. This uh, lab press happens to have an unusually large or long inlet hopper. It's 16 inches. That's more for production than a test, which would have just a little 8-inch hopper. Uh, but easier to see, we're squeezing this stuff. We're trying to push it through the press. And um, let's see if we start getting anything to come through the screen. Scoops out okay. Got the air pressure closing the discharge cone here. Set it at 10 psi, which barely moves the air cylinder. Oh, I set the speed very slow, 7.5 RPM. And I'm starting to get some materials progressing through. Can you see it there? This screen. This is the same screen we were using the other day. The slot width is incredibly tight. The tightest we make, five thousandths of an inch. And it's, this material is still squeezing through that entirely, extremely tight slot. Even though there's almost no pressure, just a little bit of compression from the flight tightening their pitch. Uh, and that material could slip away from that pressure, but it's still coming through the screen. And it's starting to come out down here at the uh, uh, discharge end, which is a surprise. Uh, well, we'll see if we can open the cone. If not, I'll turn off the air and just hold the cone open by hand to let material progress through. I set that speed extremely low just to uh, give it the best chance, most resident time in the press. The liquid would be drained out. But, uh, as predicted, we have a total failure. Um, and... I'll let this run for a while. And, uh... Okay, I'd say it's full all the way back and forth. So I'm going to take the air off. Just di disconnect the hose. It's so low it'll... Okay, and here I can, now that there's just enough, that's okay, that's enough to uh, open up uh, probably a 32nd or an eighth, an eighth of an inch, something very slight, and um, it's still not forming any press cake, we're still not getting any separation, for the heck of it I'll crank up the speed, and watching the screw there. Now it's flying, and you can see it doesn't make any difference. Um, we're, we're just making the same mess, but faster. Friday night, time to go home. <laughs> Where's the bar? <laughs> I'm ready for a beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, did you see what happened when I cranked up the speed? I, I'm probably going 120 hertz. Yeah, I'm 30 RPM wouldn't surprise me. We set all our VFDs to go to 120 hertz. And, uh, um, oh, the gearbox, uh, these little gearboxes, those input bearings are rated for 4,000 RPM input, 132 hertz. And the gearbox isn't destroyed or anything. It's got good life. Uh, when we do that, we usually just put on a 3,600 RPM motor 
and uh, changed the oil to synthetic oil. It's got mineral oil in it from the factory. Okay, a daft sludge, things like that happen here.